Hey friends, it's Natana. Welcome to day eight of 100 for my fitness and sobriety journey with body. Today we are doing some type of, I don't know, I'm bad girl again, but we're doing some type of like um, martial arts for Morning Meltdown 100. I'm sure I could figure out the name later, but I am just not in the mood. It's a full moon today and I'm feeling all sorts of anxious. I'm feeling rushed um even though i don't have to be but i just i feel like time is slipping through my fingers sleep was ugh, you know it was okay i slept okay i woke up a few times and went right back to bed which is beautiful um but yet today was a 5 a.m wake up day and i got my workout started by 5 15 um because you know i gotta move around that furniture make coffee set up stuff and I could have done that the night before I just feel weird like leaving the house in that position and going to bed um I don't know it's a thing but OCD <laughs> I don't think it is OCD it's just something else it's anxiety I have my nail appointment today getting new nails I'm gonna get some fall nails um I do acrylic layover on my natural nail I'm gonna take a drink and I am going to do probably like foxes and maybe some pumpkins and I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm going to give my nail artist a few things to pick from and see what she thinks. I always um, like asking her what she thinks because she's the nail artist and she's amazing at what she does. So we keep my nails nice and short because I do massage and um, we make it happen. She makes the magic happen. I just show up. <laughs> um, so anyways, guys, it's Friday. I have, I don't I have no plans this weekend except for working and working out, um, meditating and um, practicing some photo psychic readings. And I'm really excited to try a new technique. I am definitely going to try mediumship technique solely um, before I look at a photo and um i have a new idea of when i get tangible photos in my hands i would like to sit with a photo without looking at it and pick up the energy of the photo before i look at it and do the reading um before i look at it and i think that will be so fun and lovely and um, just helpful to have the energy there but you know when it's digital doing a regular mediumship reading and seeing what I pick up before I look at the photo and do eye gazing technique will be really cool too. Um, because hi, that's what it is. <laughs> so anyways, guys, it has been one heck of a roller coaster in the last like couple months. And I made a decision in my life last night, which doesn't surprise us because it's that Aries full moon and my natal Aries is in Mars. So it's in its actual natal placement of exaltation and it's in its rulership. So that means that I'm a very passionate person. I am a very um, self-motivated person when I'm excited about something. I can be reactive and that is something I use workout for and mindset for and spirituality for to not be reactive. Um, so we need to respond, not react. I go to therapy weekly and I do DBT therapy, dialectical behavioral therapy, which is great for everybody. I think they should ch teach that in school in L like in kindergarten and first grade, probably like kindergarten to, to fifth grade is what they really need to teach it. Maybe every year, everybody should just do DBT therapy. I just think it would be great. I could only imagine what type of a world we would live in if people had tools to self-regulate themselves and to express themselves with confidence um, and know that it's okay to express themselves because they don't have to stay in an emotional state of reaction, fight, fight, freeze, bond, disassociate. I do all of them. I go through cycles of all of them. 
and it's just due to trauma that I had to deal with in the past. I love my family. I'm not saying that my family are horrible people because I dealt with trauma. It's just what it is. Like sometimes you grow up in environments where there's a lot of trauma around you and it doesn't even have to be in your household. It could be like the kids you went to school with and the trauma they endured and your best friend and the neighborhood you live in and the families around you and the toxic lives that they had to deal with. There's just so much stuff. So, um, my dad asked me if I was going to go to my uncle's funeral, um, who had passed two Saturdays ago or a Saturday, one Saturday ago, last Saturday. Um, and it is my mom's uncle who passed and I told him maybe, and, um, I asked him if he was going to go and he said, maybe. So I think that would be cool if my dad and I went together because, even though my dad is not part of the family any longer, my dad was a part of that family for 20, 20 plus years. And, um, you know, transitions in life are growing. They grow you. And uh, I feel emotional. Think about this, but my heart is just so heavy for my cousins and my aunt and my my other aunts and my mom and my family it's just there's a lot of them and they've been passing the last couple of years and it's been really hard on everybody to just keep losing people though it is a regular cycle of life and so the whole thoughts of me doing mediumship is pretty healing for me personally because it gets me to know that it's not the end I hate to end this on such a deep moment, but we're done for today, guys. <laughs> we're done. I thought I wasn't, but we're done. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a lovely full moon. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.